dog had broken its leg and the owners didn't even know how long until it was maggot infested and infected. No, no, I know. We'll end up flushing and cleaning and getting it all out. We'll do the best we can. So we're gonna do I am long acting amoxicillin. Do you want to give her a sedative? Yeah, or wait. No. Yeah, maybe 17. So this little girl, everyone may remember her from about three or four days ago. The fortunate thing is we have to amputate this leg. But the good thing is, is she's going to feel a whole lot better. I expect she might even be walking quite well in a few hours right after surgery. They do, uh, they do quite amazing, so that's what's going on today. Let's actually find out what this dog's name is. There he is, it's Bubbles. Her name's Bubbles? Yeah. yeah. Bubbles. Guys, it looks like no clotting time was done, so we're going to have to assume the worst, okay? okay. I love the color. <laughs> Matches. So we'll give her some of that IV if we need to, or is that an ketamine? The biggest worry about this surgery is bleeding. She actually has a bit of a heart murmur as well, which is kind of this swishing noise in between the lub and the dub of a, of a heartbeat. I'm actually going to utilize a little bit of a nerve block uh, in and around the joint to freeze the area such that we don't have to rely so much on sedation. So that's going to make it a little bit more uh, safe and more comfortable for her as well. So we have some lidocaine here. Lidocaine is similar to what you get when you go to the dentist and they freeze up your teeth. This is basically going to numb the surgical area and a lot of the nerves sort of below the injection site. There you go. That'll help. So we're just covering this up with a sterile drape. So I can now manipulate the patient without there being an issue. I might be ready to help this little girl. Okay, we got that, we got that, I don't need that. Yeah, you want to be confident in your incision, but when in doubt, leave a little extra skin. You can always go back up. I'm having a little trouble with the scissors, they're quite dull and I'm having trouble kind of delicately cutting through the planes of tissue. So because of that, I ended up sort of getting a little too aggressive and cut a vessel. Not a big deal, it'll stop. But instead now I'm gonna start clamping muscles as I cut them, and then I can kind of control the bleeding. Tie the vein first, and why would that be? Because when the blood goes down to the bottom of the clot, it's trying to pump it up to the heart. Okay, the blood's coming down through the artery, infuses everything, comes up. You now tie that vein, you do the artery first. Oh, there's an artery. Okay, I'm just the whole thing's kind of oozing. Give it time to absorb. Last one, Mr. Henry. Last suture. Last suture. But in this place, that's not saying much. You got some pretty freaky surgeries going on here. Can't find it. Where's that suture? Uh, we gave her 0.1 IM. The time, we're gonna see how long it takes for her to walk. Where do I go? Aw, you're so cute. Oh, she's all right. You guys gonna tidy her up? Is that right, Mr. Henry? Yeah. She'll do all that, right? She's so cute. Hey, he looks so pretty. So little Bubbles did great. We're about a day and a half after surgery. She's hopping around excellent. And she's going to be going home soon. Now little Bubbles, we're going to have a little talk with your family to make sure they start letting you inside. And maybe if you're really cute and you give them kisses, they'll let you sleep on the couch or even the bed. Who knows? But keep doing your exercises and you'll be running with the other dogs in the yard in no time. We're going to miss you, sweetie. Okay, follow me. This way.